Hey, how's everybody doing? Today, I wanted to talk about converting CMYK color values to spot colors or Pantone colors. The previous way I used to do it, while very effective and customized as far as what, what the colors were, as it, the labels in the colors rather, normally I would select the entire piece click on the folder icon under the color swatches and create a group. Then I would go to my magic wand, select a color, double click on that color, and label it and change it to a spot color. And you'll notice over here you'll get that triangle with the dot meaning it's a spot color. While that works just fine, that can be a little tedious for multiple. Then there's five, I think, yeah, five colors in this design. So this is what I want to show you. Um, I recently just found this out, so I guess I'm a little excited about it. I don't know. Select your artwork, and what I'm going to show you is basically just doing it in like one click, maybe two, something not so literal. So select your artwork and you can see when I when I click on a single color they are CMYK values. Okay, With the artwork selected go to there's a little color wheel right here. There's also I think it can be reached maybe not. Anyway the color wheel here it says recolor artwork or it can be found under edit edit colors, recolor artwork, and when this comes up, I heard somebody say this is a misunderstood tool, and I happen to agree because I didn't really understand how to use it before, um, and I got a little, little insight recently, and this is what I'm doing with it. So here's all the colors in the artwork, the selected artwork. Over here, um, kind of three quarters of the way to the bottom, right now it says none, and when you click on that, you'll see all your color swatch books, we'll call them. So we'll go to color books, and we'll come down to solid coded. That's it. Click OK. Now you'll see it says Pantone solid coded right there. Click OK. And you'll notice in your color swatches, the Pantone swatches are right there. That is all there is to it. So when you select a single color, you'll see that that one is what's selected. When you go to separation preview, let's let, let this catch up a little bit. Turn off the CMYK. You can see that I can turn off all of these colors. And when I output these as a PDF or to a RIP, um, it will set it'll print these on separate films so this is all set and also you have your we let illustrator convert the CMYK value to the closest matching Pantone all in one fail swoop so if I mean if you're doing one or two color not a big deal double click on it create it to a spot color and you're all set this way I took five colors and just knocked it out real fast so that's all there is to it. I hope that was helpful to some people. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Feel free to like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that good stuff if you like what you see. I'm trying to make more videos, so hopefully I can do that. All right, talk to you guys later.